Hey guys, it's me Drog, and I'm back with episode 1, part 3, so let's just start it. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. 
that bad? Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Someone drove off after the explosion. a connection the bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store it appears military have you put it together yes Falcone leaving his rose here this is a message dead cops stolen chemicals He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. 
Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony! Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Talk, and I spare you an ambulance ride. The police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you! <laughs> you trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> The Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Uh, someone must have heard us call the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please, no, no. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Falcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I was just here for a pickup. I. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. <laughs> hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. He was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? 
Rest him. Falcone was behind this. Falcone, yeah. I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. I've heard this before, Alfred. Well, my words pass straight through you. There used to be a difference between Batman and the criminals he locked up in Arkham. That difference is shrinking. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. Um, I believe that James Gordon would have the cops do stuff under everyone's noses, but then Vicky would be all public, so they'd know that Bam's come after him. 
I have no idea whatsoever, but I'm going to go with Gordon because I feel like he's more trustworthy and all that. So. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, are you a mom? Not anymore, I'm not.
good point of entry. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch it for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. You make your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. Mm, all it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Got it covered, Al. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. I can't 
sneak up on me. Be Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. The Kellogg's. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. Gotham. Still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, 
Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Well, guys, um, that was, <laughs> that was a big cliffhanger, I will admit. <sighs> when your parents no, that's it's the next video. Um, thanks, guys, for watching episode one. I let me know what you guys think, and yeah, yeah. And if you guys like this, I might do more videos. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching, and see. Ya. I guess. <laughs> Peace.